Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about treating tobacco use in primary care. I am Dr. Suresh Badadmat, Professor of Psychiatry, working at Nimans, Bangalore. Tobacco use in India has reached a pandemic state. Approximately 27.5 crore people are using tobacco. They are using the tobacco in the form of chewing or else smoking. The people who smoke not only put their health at risk but also to the family members. The only way to deal this situation is to address this issue at the primary care level. The main reason being is most of these people visit primary care for one or the other reason with regard to their health. This is the time we need to identify, address, treat. So we need to make an effort to address this issue at the primary care level. At the primary care level, Phi A model is the best model. The Phi A model means ask for tobacco use, advise strongly to quit, assess willingness to quit, assist them in treatment and arrange for follow-up. Let's discuss each one of them. Ask for tobacco use. Ask whether they are chewing or smoking. If they are doing it, ask for the frequency. And also try to make the relationship between the current visit for their health problem and the smoking. Suppose the person has come for fever or cough. Tell them tobacco may add for their illness. This baking relationship helps in motivation for treatment. And also the person has visited the healthcare center, providing good healthy lifestyle Asking them to quit plays an essential role now. Once you have asked, advise to quit. This is the second very essential step. Here you have to do health education and also connecting with the present health problem. The third will be assess for the willingness. Whether the person is ready for treatment, whether he is still planning or else he is refusing outrightly. Suppose he is accepting for the treatment Counsel him, again do health education, show posters and start medication if the craving is very severe. It may be nicotine gum is the best which has 2 mg and 4 mg. If a person is using less than 10 cigarettes per day, use 2 mg of nicotine gums. If he is smoking more than 10 cigarettes per day, give 4 mg of nicotine gums. This gum can be taken one nicotine gum over a period of one to two hours. Here, he, sh he should be taught how to use this nicotine gum. He should chew this gum for a period of five seconds and park it next to his teeth and the buccal cavity. The reason is, it if the person chews like a bubble gum, the effectiveness of this nicotine gum goes off. He has to chew, park it. He has to chew till he gets the till he gets the pepper like taste that is when the nicotine release occurs and here if he learns how to use it over a period of one to two months he can taper it and stop the nicotine gum further plan for follow-up because the research have clearly shown that the people who are in touch with the treating team will quit tobacco and if the person who has refused give him a open door policy ask him to come after one month so that again you can try to attempt for counseling. Remember my dear friends, each step towards treating tobacco at the primary care level makes a huge difference. We should make attempts at the primary care. Treating at the district hospital and the medical college is very difficult because by the time they reach there, they would have developed severe dependence. So identifying educating, treating at primary care level is the best way to go for treatment of tobacco. Thank you very much. Stay safe.